name is Carmina Wright. The day I was born was the day the world collapsed. Those that survived had to make new lives underground. Up above, there was nothing but ash and cold and death. People thought it would last forever, but without us up there, life returned. I was six years old the first time I saw the sun. Mom and Dad were heartbroken by what they saw. The world they'd known gone forever. But not me. I'd never seen anything so perfect. We weren't the only ones who'd survived, and slowly but surely, our little community grew. It wasn't always easy, but for a time, there was peace and prosperity. A new home, a new life, a new normal. But like all things in this world, it was too good to last. The highwaymen came from the east, led by a pair of sisters, twins said they'd heard about our little paradise. Said they wanted it for themselves. We never stood a chance. They took everything from us, our food, our homes, our people. We needed a miracle. And that's when we heard the name Thomas Rush. He and his captain had been up and down the West Coast helping folks like us rebuild and they were on a train headed right through Hope County. Mom sent me to find them, convince them to help us take our home back. They were our last hope, our salvation. But it all went horribly wrong. And you're alive! Jesus! They're heading this way! Get off, Captain! Come on, get up! What's the fucking highwaymen? They're gonna kill us! Get up, Captain! Get up! Jesus, Barnes, just keep screaming like that, you're gonna bring them all down on us. Rush, you're alive! Help me! No, we have no time, we gotta go! Barnes, we are not leaving the Captain behind. They're coming fast. We need to stick together. Understood? Captain. Your time to shine. We need to get armed, we need to get our people, and we need you to find a way out of here. I know, yeah, easier said than done. One step at a time, Barnes. You lead, we'll follow. How did these assholes get so much good shit? We're done in Hope County. We should go to wherever these shitheads are from. I wish we could get a train like this every day. You think...
Well, Merry fucking Christmas, everybody. Santa delivered a whole damn train full of presents. <sighs> what do we have here? Rabbit. Ooh. I gotta ask you rabbits a question. The fuck you think was gonna happen? Riding in on a giant hunk of iron, just clouds of black smoke. You think we wouldn't notice? What do you want, Barnes? We want to know if your problem solvers are problem makers. What? <laughs> Our pops always told us that people either solve problems or make problems. The world's got too many fucking problems. And we're looking for people to help solve problems. Uh, our problems. If you're a problem solver, we got you covered. Food, clothes, guns. <laughs> Anything you need. <laughs> Even health insurance. <laughs> but if you make problems well, Pops taught us what to do with problem makers. Problem makers need to be solved. Mm -hmm. Old man solved a shit ton of problems in his day. Yeah. Hell yeah. So, rabbits. Are you all problem solvers or problem makers? We solve problems. We've been solving problems all over this Barnes. country. We can give you fresh water, build shelters. We can get you anything you need. Barnes, shut up. You can build all that? Well, I'm... Not me, but Rush here. Well, then you are gonna be our number one problem solver. Go fuck yourself. Huh. Okay. <laughs> You done? Yeah. So, let's try this again. You gonna help solve problems for us, Mr. Rush? <laughs> Okay. Save yourself. Hey, hey, wake up, wake up. I recognize you from the train. You're captain of security, right? I'm Carmina. Oh my god, I saw you hit the water and I was able to pull you out before you drowned, but... Near as I can tell, I think we're the only ones who got away. Come on. Okay. We have to be careful. The twins, they took off with Rush, but a lot of the highwaymen, they stuck around. Okay, we... We have to get back to Hope County. My mom, my mom, she'll know what to do. Come on. Come on, we're almost there. I hope mom is okay. Oh, Carmina! Oh, thank God. I was so worried. Mom. Uh, kids, go back inside. I'll be right there. What's wrong? 
there is a whole train full of people to help us. But the highwaymen, the twins, they took Rush. Everyone else was killed. Oh my God. It was terrible. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I never should have gone out there, Mom. I... Oh, honey. What are we gonna do now? I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I mean, no one's coming to help us. We're on our own. It's just us. Shh. Let's get you both inside. You can tell me the whole story. Thank you for bringing her home. All right, guys. You know how to handle a gun. You know your way around this valley better than anybody. So? So? Sitting around moping isn't doing any good. Look, Rush was supposed to help us build someplace safe. Now, it's up to us. There are brave people here scattered around. We just have to find them. Bring everyone together. Show them we can stand up to the highwaymen. Mom, it's not gonna be easy. I know. But it's our only choice. My name is Kim. I guess you could say I run things around here. I know you've already been through a lot, Captain. But the truth is, we need all the help we can get. And at the moment, you're it. We thought your people on that train were gonna give us an edge. We were all gonna work together to grow things, make things. We were gonna fight back against the twins. But all of that is gone now. So, it's up to us. We've got a lot of work to do. Let me show you how things work around here. This is Hope County. In order to get the most out of our facilities, we need ethanol to upgrade them. Your map shows the highwaymen outposts where they store the ethanol they stole from us. Secure these locations to get what we need. And here's where you can find specialists. People with the expertise to really give us a fighting chance against the twins. Bring them home and they'll make prosperity and you stronger. But without Thomas Rush, none of this is gonna work. He's built up settlements before, and without his knowledge, we won't be able to take prosperity to the next level. Lately, the twins are sending a lot of prisoners to the coal mine. I'd start looking there. So that's it. We rescue Rush, find people who can run the facilities, and bring them enough ethanol to maximize what we can craft. If you can help us, we'll do everything we can to help you. Oh my God, Jesus, I thought you were dead. I should have known you'd come through. You came back for me. You crazy son of a bitch, you came back for me. We need to go, now. Didn't think I'd get out of there alive. Thanks for risking your neck for me, Cap. You're not gonna believe what I saw. One night the mine was attacked by people who looked like they were out of the Stone Age. They were fighting against shotguns, using only bows and arrows. They took shots and kept on coming. 
Listen, I don't believe in wizards or magic, but I know what I saw. Those people had something. Something that I can't explain. If we could find out what their secret is, maybe we'd have a chance against the twins. <clears throat> Mom! Whoa, 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 slow down, slow down. Jesus. Fresh, they really did a number on you. It's nothing. There two will be fine. Did I hear right? You Thomas Rush? You must be Mrs. Rye. Carmina's told me a lot about you. Your daughter's as tough as they come. Preaching to the choir. Carmina, get the alcohol. Got it. Let's have a look at that wound. Careful. <laughs> you have to jig the socket. You all that's left? Yeah. I'm sorry, I can't imagine how you feel. Responsible. Well, the twins have a way of making you feel hopeless. You can see why we need your help. Then how much you so busy anymore. We can still do this, Rush. Build this place up and make it strong, just like we talked about. It's not that easy. We had specialists, experts. But you must have started small. This is no different. You've done it before. Show us how. We're gonna need more people, and they're gonna be willing to learn. Learn fast. We will. Okay, now that socket. You ready? Yeah. Started. Whoa, 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 hey, stop. How about we rest first? Good idea. Josh, hi! Back to business now. But, but I, I know who gave me the shaft. My employee, Richard. He's got a real bad gambling habit, always playing crazy eights with those highwaymen and losing his pants. He must have hidden the plan somewhere for safekeeping, else they'd just take it from him. They're not very nice, or respectful. His usual gambling place isn't far from here. If you spook him, he'll run and lead you right to his hidey hole. I'm sure of it. I'd go, but I've got bad knees. <laughs> and lungs. A and eyes. Anyway, please get my business plan back. If you reach around my back now, I'll reach around yours later. That's a Wikibenia promise. Okay, yes, I lost my clothes in a game of cards, ha ha ha. I have a problem, all right? I didn't mean for things to get this bad. I was one of Bean's scouts, and I thought that since the highwaymen travel so much, they'd be a good source of information. They said they'd play me for it, and before I knew it, I'd gambled away all of Bean's assets. The only things I had left to offer were the clothes off my back and Bean's business plan. The plan's in my secret stash, in a little bunker just over the hill there. I promise, I'll never gamble again. <laughs> I'd clap for joy, but my daddy always said that was for clowns and babies, and I'm neither. Remember I mentioned the reach around your back? Well, I'm gonna set up Wikibenia HQ and prosperity starting now. I got scouts collecting hot tips, and I'll get maps again, and, well, you'll see. With my business plan, Wikibenia will go global, just like daddy always talked about how it was before. Everyone will help us and give us donations. It'll be great. I'll see you at Prosperity soon, right? Right. I can't wait. Well, have a nice time until then. Oh my god, my dude. I am in like the worst real life come down that's ever graced the freaking planet right now. I grow these uh herbs. You know, herbs. Don't ask me what kind. It's the kind that work, okay? That kind. I trek around here with a field kit and uh <laughs> it fell. It fell just over the lip of this weird pavement hole. It's got like a year's worth of homegrown stuff in there. That kit saved me from like eight deficiencies and four infections in the past six months alone. I can recultivate this stuff, sure, but like, honestly, between you and me, my dude, that shit down there's my freaking lifeline. I won't last till the next harvest. 
next month without it. People die from, like, the dumbest shit these days. Get me my kit, and I'll keep you and your people ticking. So you can die from violence, like your god intended. Instead of, like, stepping on a nail. my guy. I almost lost it. Oh, my sweet baby Spunk. We got it back. Oh, ho, ho. this will make life so much easier. Now I can itch my bug bites and get them infected without dropping dead a month later. Thank you, for real. I've been meaning to, like, help people instead of collecting roots like a dirt hoarder and junk, so you mind if I run with you? I can set up my lab in your home camp garden or whatever, and I can help you boost your immune systems and get you feeling real good. A constitution and junk. I'll just set up my stuff there now, yeah? Yeah, I'm going now. Gonna settle in. Thanks again, my dude. Hear me out. You're that outsider, huh? Here the highwaymen are none too happy with you. Good. About time you young gun stepped up to the plate. Name's Grace. And if I wasn't blind as fuck, I'd be fighting right beside you. I might have lost a step or two, but I'm still putting my hands to good use. Once I realized I couldn't aim and shoot like I used to, I built a gun where none of that would matter. It's inspired by something you cooked up, actually. Only I made a few modifications. If I wasn't so modest, I'd say it was the best gun in Hope County. Only problem is the highwaymen stole it from me and took it to the old train yard. That's where they hoard all the goods they've been stealing from the people here. It won't be easy, but trust me, the risk is worth the reward. Go get the gun, steal back the supplies they took and mow down any pinheads who get in your way. I'm gonna kill you! I'm taking hits! Don't forget to grab the materials. We'll need that stuff if we're gonna push back against the highwaymen. I'm moving! Cover! Travel over the- Those saws will cut through just about anything. And whatever they don't cut through, they'll bounce off of. Use metal surfaces to ricochet. That'll help you get the edge on anyone using cover. <laughs> That's perfect to get those shielded fuckers, too. You did good. Smack those highwaymen right in their mouths. Keep the gun. Like I said, my eyesight ain't what it used to be. Figure you'll get more use out of it than I will. And those supplies you collected? That stuff belonged to the people. Invest it back into the community. The folks in Prosperity will make the best use out of whatever you can give them, me included. You heard right. I'm headed to Prosperity for good. You and your friends ever need training? You come see me. Take care of yourself. All that good shit. We stole fair and square, and somebody had the audacity to steal it back from us. Now we have to go out and take more shit from you people, only this time we won't be as nice about it. Hey, come on over. We're just getting started. Get it while it's hot. Stuff that smells this good won't last long. I will take that as a compliment. Mom thought it'd be a good idea to have a little dinner for everyone to boost the morale. I'd say it's working. We all need a little downtime. Except for her, she's got no quit. Don't expect that to change. Can't remember the last time I hosted this many people. Might have been when I told the whole town I was pregnant with you. Mom. They're all so happy for your dad and I. It's not perfect, and there's still work to do, but it sure is nice to have something to be happy about again. I'll drink to that. We wouldn't have any of this if it weren't for you. Now, come on, go grab a drink. It's long overdue. Them. We need to get the kids inside. 
Come on. Oh no. You better put those down. I don't want to scare the kids. Carmina. <gasps> Everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just don't like it when people lie to little kids. Why are you doing this? Because of your hero here. Until you showed up, everything was running smoothly, but you, you've become a fucking problem. Taking from us, throwing everything out of balance. I think we should just kill him. No, hold on. We don't want any martyrs here. What we want is to make sure everyone understands that your help is a curse. Every person you help, every child you inspire, <laughs> every settlement you build, we will take from you. And when you've got nothing, we'll come for you. <laughs> Don't drop it. <laughs> the only currency in this world is power. You, you made us look weak. That ends now! We're gonna take everything that you hold dear, starting with your home. And if we can't take it, we'll break it. Don't be here when we come back. Come here, come here. Oh my God, oh my God. It's okay. Now it's okay. It's okay. Let's go inside. Let's go. Carmina filled me in. There's no goddamn way we're letting the highwaymen take what we built. Now they're gonna come back with everything they got. Good. We're gonna make them regret it. We don't have a lot of time to get into a position where we can fight back. So we'll need to know exactly when those bastards are coming. I've sent a scout up ahead. They see any trouble, they'll send a warning. That'll give us enough time to prepare. I'd feel better if you went to check on them, Captain. Make sure they're ready, because there's no room for error. These walls fall, we fucking fall. All's quiet so far, but they could show up any minute now. I just hope I can warn everyone in time when the highwaymen show up. We can't afford to lose... Shit, it's them. Get back to the others. Go! We lost a lot of people. The wounded are in bad shape. If twins come back, we can't stop them. There's nobody left. What about that group in the north, New Eden? Is that a joke? I've seen them in action. They hit the camp I was being held at one night. Just two of them took more bullets than is humanly possible and vanished into the forest. The high women call them ghosts. But I know what I saw. Those people were doped to the fucking gills. We need what they have. You realize we're talking about going to Joseph's seat? A man who terrorized and brutalized our family for years. But that was before. He's left us in peace, Mom. Whatever happened in the past is the past. Stay out of this. We need help. If we don't get it, we're all dead. A deal with New Eden is a deal with the devil. It's the only one on the table. Whatever they have, whatever their secrets, we need it. Her against the wall. Find out what this Joseph has. I'll patch things up here. Are you okay? 
okay? Did he hurt you? The bearded man? He was just giving me some food. If he ever shows up here again, you come straight to your mom and me. Do you understand? I'm hungry. He said we have to find food wherever we can. Yeah, but we don't take anything from him, not even food. Why? Because we knew that man before you were born. He did some very bad things. He, he hurt your dad and tried to hurt our family. Hey, you see him again. You run away as fast as you can. You hear? Go, go on inside, honey. She's got to learn. We do not accept help from the pagans. ago I heard the voice of God. He told me about a difficult path ahead. I followed it all the way to an ending. And a beginning. led us to ruin. The only way forward is to live without sin. You will reveal the truth. And be welcomed into our new new Eden rose from the ashes. The flame of Eden burned away any sin that may take root again. The world wasn't ready for the collapse, and people fought against us.
God has cleansed the world of sin. And yet it remains. Sin is in our blood, our flesh, our soul. fulfilled my obligation to God. But he had one more thing to say to me. He told me you would be worthy.
You aren't what I was expecting. Maybe the same could be said for me. If you came here looking for the old man, well... Do you have the book? Do you know what that is? The word of Joseph. His teachings, his guidance, his wisdom... ...and his madness. I have searched everywhere for this book. Joseph said the one who found it would be ordained by God... ...to be the true ruler of Eden. And you are the one who returns it to us. It should have been me. I'm the one they turned to when he disappeared into the north. I'm the one who has held this family together. I'm the one they chose to lead. I have protected them from the locusts and the snakes. I have kept us all alive and safe within these walls. Not the old man, me! My father wanted to build a paradise, but when it got too hard, he ran away. You came here looking for his help, but Joseph is dead. No one wants to acknowledge this, but it's the truth. Our family still believes in him, and they'll never stop believing in him until they understand that he was not a messiah, he was just a man. Help me show them. Bring back proof of his death, and I'll help your people. But New Eden will not allow you to travel north until you prove yourself worthy by lighting the flame of Eden. The people know this, Mark. And they will lead you to the flame. Ethan has marked you as one who wishes to rekindle the flame of New Eden. The bandits who have taken our land have extinguished it. It is found at the base of the fallen statue of Joseph, toppled by a sinner many years ago. There is a band of Chosen there. They will help you. Many have tried to light the flame of Eden, and all have failed. There are many highwaymen surrounding the flame, and they kill without pity. Our best option against their numbers and firepower is to take them out with cunning and stealth. We've brought you a weapon suitable for our most holy task. Please consider using it. My fellow Chosen will help you. Now follow me. Sinner, there's more. We've brought you as far as we can. You must descend into the cavern and light the flame alone. They flooded the chamber and sealed the pipes. Those pipes contain the bliss that feeds the sacred flame. Drain the water, then destroy the pipes to release the bliss. Ignite the bliss so that the righteous fire may rise again. And be careful it does not consume you. Go, sinner, with our blessings and hope. Sinner, or perhaps... Something else. Oh, God, the father will know to call you. Something. Ethan himself was not able to accomplish this. Clearly, you are the one who will make Joseph's prophecy come true. You must return to Ethan for further instructions, but go, knowing you have given us a new hope. All of New Eden will rejoice. Listen up, highwaymen. It's Mickey. A lot of fight went out of those nature freaks when we put out their big fire. Carmina? Oh my god! I don't believe this! You gotta get back home, honey. I'll meet you there. We'll surprise Mom. Thank you. Thank you so damn much. You don't understand. I've been trapped here for months. See, the highwaymen dragged me out to this camp, and they had me working on stuff for the twins. I need to get back home. I got a getaway ride all ready to go. Come on, let's get moving before more of those sons of bitches show up. Name's Nick, by the way. Nice to meet you. Such a smart idea! Hang on! Hell yeah! 
Let's do this. Carmina? Do you know where my wire cutters are? Tia. You no, know, I put them here somewhere. Hold on. You lose something, darling? Hey, baby. Hey, you know, if you're busy, I could always come no. back. No. <laughs> hey, kiddo. Thank you. Thanks for bailing me out of a jam. Now, me and Pastor Jerome have been attacking convoys and freeing prisoners for a while now. But this time, everything went sideways. We took out a truck but got blindsided by some highwaymen. They captured Jerome. I barely managed to get out alive. The Lord knows where they've taken Jerome. Uh, there might be a clue in the truck we took down. It's not far from here. The name's Jerome. I appreciate your help, but we've got more work to do. My point is... They were taking me to the old Rye house to torture me. They've got other prisoners there. I could use your help to save those people. Let me introduce myself properly. Jerome Jeffries. Most folks call me Pastor Jerome. I appreciate what you've done here. You have an instinct for helping folks. That's usually my calling. Mickey and Lou won't stop until they've bled Hope County dry, and they don't care about who they crush in the process. We need uh -oh. people to stand up to them. I'd follow someone like you. If you're looking for an ally, you found one. Now, like I was saying, do I, do I know you from somewhere? I mean, you look dang familiar, like as if, as if we'd done this before in some some endless haunting loop for which neither of us may ever escape. Huh. Anywho, I'm Herc, and I'm real glad you showed up. I'm looking for a driver. A driver with a prowess for unregulated violence as if they were a younger me. Well, no doubt you've probably heard of my legend, my many outlaw adventures, you know, both in and out of the boudoir. Well, all the stories you heard are true, including the one about me liberating a country with a bunch of monkeys I trained in the deadly art of edge weaponry. But I forsake that life of fame and fortune and all its trappings to settle down. I started a business with my cousin, man. We made party liquor. I fell in love with the woman of my dreams, man. We had a baby. It was a good life, man, a peaceful life. But then, then these highway men, they came and they took it all from me. They took my distillery. They took my ride. They took my woman and they tried to take my baby. They made this personal. So now, I'm a go on quick on their asses. I'm a fucking take from them, starting with my ride. So I need you to be my wheel man, a fearless companion willing to risk life and limb while I blow the fuck up out of everyone that stands in my goddamn way, like I'm the Jizz Master MC captain. I don't know what that is, man. I got carried away. Jizz Master MC captain just sound like, just sound like a fucking boss to me, man. I feel like a boss, man. I'm in fucking boss mode. Will you join me on this path of vengeance? If you do, me and the monkey gods will reward you with spoils beyond your wildest dreams. Party liquor, pornographic VHS tapes, cool guns. This car and all my memories attached to it. It's too slow, man. Let's just let's just jump out of this junk and run like fuck and watch it explode. Goddamn boss. Woo-wee! Oh man! I, I know we were only going like five miles an hour, but my heart is pounding and my dick is hard. That was, 
That was intense. There was like explosions and gunfire and fucking bison and, and we couldn't stop or we was gonna die. It was like, it was like speed but in slow motion, man. Shit, shit. Oh, man. And you know, I, I was gonna give you the car as a reward, but but don't worry, I can make you another one, and I promise, I promise it'll go faster, okay? You know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking that we made a pretty good team here, okay? I, I can see you kind of feeling it too. So, if you want, we can we can continue down this path of vengeance, and and we can bust some more heads, man. You know, just 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 give me a call anytime. I'm I'm usually free. That baby is ours. It doesn't matter where you go or where you hide, redneck. We will find you, and your punishment is going to be so much worse than what we did to that baby's treacherous ass mother. Trust. A non-believer is a sinner. A non-believer does not know our ways. A non-believer has relit our most sacred flame. We need Joseph. He cleanses our sins. Father will absolve the sinner. Send the sinner to the north. Family of New Eden, you have searched your hearts and truly believe that this sinner should seek our father? Yes. It is certain. Father shows mercy to sinners. After all, we are all his children. Prepare the sacrament. Yes. Prepare, Prepare the, the sacrament. Bring the sacrament. The sacrament. Give them the drink. The Father guides us in this moment. Make them drink, please. The sinner is granted pilgrimage north. They will bring back the Father. <laughs> Praise be to Joseph. Amen. 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 <laughs> this will allow you to cross the threshold and live. Bring back proof of his death. They will at last understand I am their prophet, and I'll give you the help you need. We both get what we want. We will show you the way. Listen well. Joseph has a sanctuary far to the north. Ritual demands you light signal fires along the way. I doubt the old man is alive to even see them, but if you don't light the fires, it will be the death of you. Because despite the sacrament, the north can still kill you. This boat and the fire are your best means of safe, swift passage. Stray from them only when it's absolutely necessary. There's a bow there for you. Use fire arrows to light the signals. Bring me proof of my father's death, and I will make sure you are remembered as a friend of the Prophet. Go now, with my blessing. Everything that I was asked. I sacrificed myself, my family. I led us into the new world. I thought that it would be glorious. showed it to me in a dream. I knew you would be the one to come and make things right. Set them exactly the way they're supposed to be. I knew that 
you would bring salvation. You've come seeking help. I can't give you any, only God can. But he has a plan for you. Come on. Walk with me. After God. gathered my flock and set them on a new path. A rejection of everything connected to the old world. The creation of a new society. Living off the land. Taking only what was needed. When the harshest years of the dark winter fell, I despaired. gave my family the strength to endure through the famine and the pestilence. Neo Eden pride. We created a paradise on earth. But it did not last. This plague of locusts saw to that. Everything God has instructed us to forsake. Their souls are rotten, diseased. But you, you are different. I believe your soul is worthy. the help that you've been seeking. God's gift to us. That which sustained my family through the darkest time. First time that I partook of this gift, I was confronted by a ravenous beast. It was my soul. And in that moment, I knew that in order to be worthy of God's gift, I had to slay that beast. I had to cleanse my soul. Because if I did not, I knew that that beast would consume me. This is God's test.
you succeed, if your soul is pure, you are the shepherd sent by God, and I can return from my exile. Our miracle allowed us to survive, but its gifts are not unconditional. It nourishes what is in a person's soul. But if that soul is corrupt, the miracle extracts a terrible price. is why I am here. There are those who must not be allowed to partake of this miracle. Even if I love them. Even if they are of my family. Sin is a beast we cannot be. future depends on adherence to my strictures. We can no longer hope for Joseph to save us. He is not coming back. We must put him out of our minds and... and... Father. Ethan. Father? The father. Where have you been? Our land is under siege, our people threatened. You disappeared. You left us when we needed you most. Why? To hear God's plan, my son. To hear God's plan. My children. I know that you have suffered. And I know that you are afraid. I have been gone from you for a very long time. But you were not abandoned. God spoke to me, and he has shown me a path out of this darkness. We will no longer hide behind these walls. We will no longer simply hope that this plague of locusts leaves us in peace. The time to fight is now. God has sent us his sword. Here! God has tested their soul, and it is just, and it is pure. And I stand here before you to bear witness that this outsider is our shepherd. Father! And together, we will battle against the hordes outside our gates, and together we will march towards the future that God has promised us. No! You abandoned me. You abandoned us. Without a word, without instructions, leaving me to lead as best I could. And now, now, you return. As if descended from the clouds and presumed to lead? Yes. I am the leader here. Joseph is our leader. New Eden follows me! We stand behind the Father. Son, I know you've carried a heavy burden in my absence. I understand that. This is God's will. And sometimes we must sacrifice that which we want in order to honor God's command. 
What have you ever sacrificed? Someday you will see the light. I promise. Come. Let us all go together. We have much work to do. Already my chosen fight the highwaymen throughout the long nights. Now I will ask them to find the strength to fight in the day as well. Your friend should make good use of the distraction and act quickly. My family cannot fight forever. As for you, remember God's gift. What you have experienced so far is just a taste of God's power. Do not waste it. I will also give leave for my judge to follow you. They speak only one language, that of violence. In this, they will serve you well. Before you can be our shepherd, you must be our sword. Go and make the land safe for all who wish to live in peace. We are all sinners. Ethan's sin is pride. There is something deep inside of him that no word of mine can touch. I worry that now, as an outsider appears to take his place, that beast will feed on resentment and grow stronger. I should remind him of his mother. She put aside her pride, and it saved his life. He would have been too young to understand. He should understand now. I'm glad you're back safely, but I can tell you went into the bliss. I tried to warn you. I hope whatever you got from Joseph was worth it. But we have a new problem. It's Rush. He's gone. I, I don't know where he is. He said he was going out to do some recon, but he never came back. I've got a bad feeling about this. Please, go search the county for him. I'll watch over the people here. Be careful. You got a hard head, Rabbit. We told you to stop causing problems. You didn't listen. We got your people. We got Rush. Come down to the old fertilizer plant. Y'all gonna learn a lesson. There you are, Rabbit. You were warned, but you and Rush kept making too many problems for us. So finally we had to take things into our own hands. Now it's our turn to make problems for you. Your people here are counting on you. We're gonna show them just how much of a curse you really are. Look at him, Rabbit. That door's not gonna open itself. You ready for more? <laughs> Got no choice. This is what happens when you fuck with us. We warned you, too. We fucking warned you. You live and then you learn. That's what Pops always said. You and Rush gotta learn. <laughs> you thought you could throw your weight around? familiar like we've been down this road before oh. relax stay a while <laughs> come on you've been so good up to this point You do realize what's at stake here, don't you? <sighs> Stubborn fucker, aren't you? <laughs> okay.
You just keep asking for it, don't you? You want it? You want the stick? <laughs> Here's the fucking stick. <laughs> Spend all night wiping those hopes and dreams off my boots. <laughs> uh, you know, before you showed up, everything was fucking great. And then you came on. With your fancy train and your fancy people trying to make this place into something that is never gonna be. And when we tried to be reasonable, you thought it'd be a good idea to stir up the pot. Uh, over and over and over. All because you thought there was a hope for your future? There's no hope for you. No future for any of you. Uh. Michelle, Louise, I need you to listen to me. Why? You're not coming with us. I don't have a choice. Your father... Daddy says if you're not with us, you're against us. It's not that simple. Yes, it is. <laughs> Gotta go, Mom. Dad's here. Michelle, you too need to take care of each other. Because your dad, he won't. He has a lot of big plans, but everything he does ends in violence. Dad solves problems. He creates them. He leaves a trail of bodies behind him. He doesn't care who gets hurt. Don't end up like him. Promise me you won't be like him. I fucking hawked out like that? Everything was normal until they went up north. Maybe it's time we asked them freak some questions. Sorry. I'm sorry I got on that train. I'm sorry I brought you to Hope County. We'll always remember you. You took a risk for us, and it cost you your life. This is all my fault. Rush, I promise we'll make you proud.
He was a good man. Selfless. But you... You did everything you could. Oh, those fucking twins are always a step ahead. We need another angle. I'm gonna go check on Carmina. When you want to hear what I have in mind, come talk to me. I had a thought. We're all shaken up by the loss of Rush, but we can't let up. As much as I hated the idea of talking to Joseph, I have to admit that having new Eden attack the Highwaymen has given us a chance to blindside them. I was talking to the scouts. It seems that out by the old orchards, there's a place the Highwaymen bet on fights. The promoter out there claims to be close to the twins. Who knows if it's true, but it's worth checking out. You got a chip on your shoulder the size of Texas, I can tell. I think we got some twins in common, right? They teamed up with me a while back, you know. I'm like their right-hand man, pretty much. I'm but we got this thing you. where we owe each other every now and then. You know, it's friendly. It's like a give-and-take type deal. But the thing is, I owe him this time around. Uh-oh. And I'm in a little uh, financial uh, trouble. Now, all I need is a short thing, and boom, hey, no problem. Now, here's a skinny. There's some fighters in this arena, and I need somebody who can give them a run for their money. But first, I need to know you could throw a punch, really hey, make the shit out of somebody, you know? So take a swing at this machine here to measure what you got. Now, I broke it, but I gave it a shot. Let's see if you got half as much. Woo! Hell yeah! Now that's a fucking punch! Hate to be on the bad end of you. Let's put it to use. Stash your weapons. Obviously, we can't take them where we're headed. And, uh, follow me. Used to be a fighter myself. I wasn't that bad. Back in the day. Oh, went on a little winning streak. Knocked out 17 guys in a row. Huh? Seven fucking team. Had to quit. <clears throat> Too lethal. Punched the last guy so hard, he farted his brains out. Seriously. Guys, seriously. <clears throat> his brains. And that made me pull up short. I had to think to myself, I got a gift, but I can't control it. OK, here we are. Head on in, and my associate will help you get processed. Make nice. Uh, don't look him in the eye. After you're done, I'll open the door for you and meet you back at the weapons cache. Go get him, chump. Uh, you. Mm. Yeah, I'm here for you. I know what's the skinny around here. A little lesser sent you, huh? Follow me. First rule of the fighting pit is you gotta tell everyone you know. Get I'm the word out. Get exposed. Uh, I've been craving that teeth-breaking crunch. <laughs> gotta go right for the face every time. They yeah. never see it coming. A dog before it comes here. <laughs> Scabs all weedy. <laughs> You need a fighting name before you go in there, so we know who to bet against. They're a lollipop! Clearly a lollipop! It's all over their face! <laughs> all right, squirt. Lollipop it is. Get into the ring, lollipop! <laughs> Here comes Wolf Fucker's latest human sacrifice! Lollipop! <laughs> You think you're clever, huh? You think you're hot shit? 
Because that's exactly what you were back there. You fought great. I think you're the kind of asshat I could work with. The asset. I, I mean asset. Shit we could get up to together. Oh, great things. Great things. I know you got shit to shovel with Mickey and Lou. I can get you close to them. And then you could take care of business. I'll figure it out. Don't worry, Slick. I'm gonna make this happen for you. I gotta put on my thinking cap. Need some space to figure this out, so you run along. Can't think with you nose breathing over my shoulder. I'll be in touch. Slick, here we go. You want the twins, right? You wanna get close enough to count the nose hairs? Well, I got a way to do that. Now, normally, I just walk you up and introduce you to the twins straight off. But I'm on the outs with them right now. Told them they were fucking up and they got all huffy. It's a whole thing. That's not important. What's important is that now, the twins are all over this guy Frank. Like he's their best friend or something. They even made him the fucking warden of the prison. You believe that? Well, they know me and him don't get along. He's such a dick. But what it is is, Lou has a thing for me. And she wants to make me jealous, okay? Now why else would they even talk to that asshole? So the number one part of the plan is, you gotta kill Frank. And here's how we do it. He's the prison warden, right? So I take you to the prison as a prisoner. That gets you close to Frank, and you just fucking take him out. Take that motherfucker out. I'll explain the rest of the plan on the way. Trust me, it's sure fire. Just stash your gear here. The prisoners don't got weapons. Then jump in the truck, and I'll drive you in. Fucking Frank. Don't balls it up in there, okay, Slick? Don't die. <laughs> Remember, you're here forever, or until you drop dead. And hey, as far as you're concerned, there's no difference, so that's good. Leading since yesterday. Let me handle this. I know what I'm doing. Hey, to barge in. We're busy. I, I know, but somebody who looks important wants to talk. How important? I don't want to hear this. Jesus. It's all under control. I'll handle this one. <laughs> the fuck you still doing here? Worst part is, I don't even want to escape. They feed us once a day here. Out there, I didn't have much of anything. I know how to get out of here. I know which one has the key back inside. They took my shiv to the restricted zone. I could try and get it, take him out. My goddamn legs would stop shaking if I had the guts. not overstate how much I wanted Frank to die. Thank you. Can't believe that idiot thought he could drive in the Derby. I could drive in the Derby. I could run the Derby. I know more about cars than any of them. I once built a car out of nothing but a kitchen sink. That spot in the Derby is yours now. 
And that's gonna get you up close and personal with Mickey and Lou. All I gotta do is finagle you a halfway decent set of wheels and you're good to go. Look, we don't wanna be seen hanging around together. So you gotta move on out of here. Now don't worry, I'll be in touch real soon. I'm a fucking genius. Every year the winner of the demolition derby gets to go to the big ass dinner party. With Frank gone, his spot in the race is yours. And you're in luck, cause I got you a great car to drive. You're lucky so and so. Now all you gotta do is win this fucking thing. Because Mickey and Lou are gonna be at that dinner. That's when you get them. I'll run and grab the car and see you here tonight, Slick. Here's your car. I fixed it up myself. Filled it to the brim with top shelf ethanol. Tires full of air the whole nine yards. Your mug's known around here, so make sure that driver's mask is on your face. Race starts at midnight. Go get him, Slick. I know you. Derby winner. <laughs> Man, you put on a show. Hey, fucking A, you did. Killed it. Ah, damn. You know, it reminds me a little of myself. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for being here. Come a long way for some of you. Fun as this is, we can't stay long. No fucking class. Been some new developments. Got a proposition for you all. <laughs> Who the fuck is he? He is our numero uno problem solver. Mm -hmm. He's gonna take us up north and hook us up with some crazy... Fuck is it, fruit? A sacred fruit. The miracle of New Eve. Yeah, that's it. Our boy here says that fruit will give you strength like you can't fucking believe. And for the right price, we're willing to share it with y'all. What the fuck are you talking about? We're the strongest already. Damn straight. It's for real. I've seen it. You hear yourself? Sacred fruit? Unfucking believable You're going soft in your head like your pops. <laughs> Any other observations? I will give you the sacred fruit only if you do as we agreed. I want you to burn New Eden to the ground. A deal's a deal, man. We're reliable. Now. We... We must do it now. Come the fuck on. Man, we gonna burn this motherfucking shit to the ground. Magic fruit that makes you powerful? Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god, they left already? Oh, really? Shit, this is oh, fucked food. up. Look, at least we can take out these other ass wipes. The gun's behind the goddamn toilet. You got the chance of a lifetime here, pal. Take a deep breath and make it count.
I gotta find a place to lay low. Total low, Slick. I'm rooting for you. Highwaymen, if you want in on the New Deal, come on up to New Eden's pile of sticks and help us burn it down. them here. The locusts. Hey, rabbit. Thought we took care of you. You just don't seem to want to die. So fucking stubborn. We're stubborn too. The shame of it all is that we could have been on the same side. You and us. We really could have done something. I guess it wasn't meant to be. Well, let's end this. Yes, I broke my promise. What? To mom. I told her we wouldn't end up like dad. We had a lot of fun, though, Ray. You know, Rabbit, you remind me of our mom. She had hope. She had dreams. She, she just wanted to fucking make things better, and I should have listened to her. But things just got carried away. after his father. You might have time to stop him. Uh, if not, well, you've had a good run. I can't believe I'm still alive. You could do something about that. Or if you just leave, uh, you'll never see me again. Ethan, what have you done? I did what I had to do. I freed myself. I freed us all from you, from your rules. Ethan, don't. 
I will have what you denied me. You gave it to an outsider, but you wouldn't give it to me. I am your flesh and blood. That was God's will. You don't know God's will! I was trying to protect you, son! Taste is sweet. <laughs> No. Father. Father. I'm sorry. I know. I'm so scared. I know, son. Can you forgive me? His only fault was that he was mine. I understood God's plan. I thought he wanted me to build a new Eden. But I am not his shepherd. You are.
My soul has become a cancer. I am a monster. And I have only spread suffering and death in the name of God. My family. Eden is dust. And there is no redemption for this. No atonement. There is only the justice of God's head. vicious cycle. Give me God's justice. Release me. Release me. He'd be proud of us. Look at what we've built together. How far we've come. There's always going to be trouble out there, but we'll manage, right? There were so many times that I thought we were going to fail. That all of this would be for nothing. But we just didn't give up. Because we had hope. Here's to hope.